Wow, the time really has flown by, hasn't it? It's just one week until you quit the company and then the very next day you're getting married. You must be super excited. I sure am. The best part is that I have five days of paid time off left that I didn't use, so tomorrow's my real last day and I'll get paid for doing nothing all next week. I'm really going to miss working with you, Mia. Your bright and chipper attitude made working here way more fun. We'll say our proper goodbyes tomorrow, though. Um, actually, about that. Sorry, Clara, but I'm not going to be able to say goodbye to you tomorrow. Oh no, what's going on? Are you feeling sick or something? No, I've never felt better. I'm not going to see you tomorrow, because I'm quitting the company today. Whoa, really? You're quitting today? Yeah, and I am super duper sorry. I won't get to work with you on your last day, but, you know, sometimes life happens. Yeah, for sure. But I have to say I'm a bit surprised that you would resign on such short notice. What did the manager say when you told him? <laughs> he was really surprised. I bet he was. But it's not like he can be like, nah, -uh, I'm not letting you quit. <laughs> so yeah, he didn't seem too happy about it, but he accepted my resignation in the end. Wow. Well, can I ask you why you decided to do this? Like I said, you don't seem the type to just quit on a whim. Is everything okay? I already told you, Clara. I've never been better. The reason I'm quitting is... <laughs> drumroll, please. I'm getting married. Wow. Oh, that's even more shocking than finding out you quit today. Well, congratulations. I'm really happy for you. I wasn't aware that you were seeing anyone. Actually, wait, didn't you tell me just a few weeks ago that you were single and not looking for a relationship right now? I did, yeah, but that was a lie. <laughs> it was? I don't really feel like airing out all my personal business at work, you know. I just tell people that because it gets them off my back about personal stuff. But anyway, I've been seeing a super nice guy for about six months now. I guess that's fair enough. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, tell me about him. What's his name? What's he like? Hmm, where to start? He's about six feet tall. He owns his own house. He has a pretty good income. And he's your fiancé, Ken. Wait, what? Yeah, I was surprised when he proposed to me, too. <laughs> like, he was already engaged to you, and then he all of a sudden gets down on one knee and pops the question to me? I couldn't believe it. Well, actually, I can. That just shows how much I mean to him. He said he wants to ditch you and marry me instead. Hold on, back up just a second, Mia. This is an awful lot to take in. This isn't some kind of a prank, is it? You've really been seeing my fiancé for six months? And he proposed to you? <laughs> this is hilarious. You're always so calm, cool, and collected on the job, so seeing you in a massive panic like this is the funniest thing ever. Yes, Clara, it's all true. I, your dear, sweet little colleague, have stolen your precious fiancé from you. No way. So yeah, I'd say you're going to want to change your plans about quitting your job next week. Oh, don't worry, though. I went ahead and told the manager that you won't be quitting after all. I just saved you from a super awkward conversation. I also took the liberty of unpacking all the things from your desk that you put in that box in your locker. Aren't I generous? No, th this can't be happening. Oh, but it is happening, sweetie. I so wish I could be there to see the look on your face when you have to tell all the losers in the office that your fiancé dumped you. Have someone take a picture for me, will you? One more thing, I had a lot of work that was due by the end of this week. But since I'm quitting, you'll have to be the one to take care of it all. You can't dump your work on me like that. Sure I can, you're the one who assigned all that paperwork to me in the first place. I have been so busy lately that I just haven't been able to make any progress on it at all. Sorry about that. <laughs> Are you kidding? I asked you to do that stuff a month ago. What have you been doing all this time? Hanging out with Ken. Would you like me to be more specific than that? No, it's more than enough information already. <laughs> I'll bet you were so excited to finally get married at your age. Huh? There's absolutely no reason an old, ugly woman like you should be getting married before a young and beautiful woman like me. You deserved to have Ken stolen from you. Is that really what this is about? You just slept with my fiancé because you were jealous of me? I bet you don't even really like him. 
First, I have never been jealous of you. I'm younger than you, hotter than you, and smarter than you. How else would I have gotten with Ken so easily? Second, I actually do like him. He has money, a promising career, and he's not a bad looking guy either. You don't deserve a guy like him, but I do. Well, 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 isn't this a blast from the past? I never expected to see your face again, much less in a place like this. I figured that me kicking you to the curb would have been the thing that sent your life into a downward spiral. But it looks like you're not doing too bad after all. Ken? It's been a year since we last spoke. Why do you even have my number? And also, what are you talking about? Where are you right now? I'm at the same church that you are. I saw you walking into the building as I was pulling into the parking lot. Looks like we both got invited to the same wedding. What a coincidence, huh? Wait, you were invited too? I guess you're a guest of the bride then? That's crazy to think my frumpy ex-fiancé was friends with the wife of my company's CEO. It's a small world, isn't it? Wait a minute. Are you telling me you work for the groom's company? That's right, Travis is my boss. It wasn't his company originally though. My company actually merged with his company a while back. Really? I never heard anything about that. And why would a nobody like you be privy to such important business matters? Anyway, like I was saying, Travis was really good friends with the former president of my company. Our companies did so much business together that when our president was set to retire, he suggested the two companies merge and form one industrial giant. It took a while to make it through all the red tape, but the government finally approved the merger about a year ago. Travis really is a great guy. He allowed all the employees from our company to keep doing exactly the same thing for the same salary. About a year ago? Huh, that's right around the time we broke up. Well, seeing as though it wasn't really my choice, it would be more accurate to say that you broke up with me. But that doesn't answer the question of why you're here. You're just some random mid-level employee. Why would you get an invite to the CEO's wedding? Isn't it obvious? It's because I'm not just some random mid-level employee. I'm an exceptional mid-level employee. Travis saw my potential even back before we merged, and he's putting me on the fast track to career advancement. Seriously? Have you forgotten how awesome I am in the year since I dumped you? Or are you just pretending to have forgotten? I was putting up the best numbers in my company by a long shot. Our customers love me, our suppliers love me, the janitorial staff loves me, everybody loves me. Everybody? Okay, everybody except you, but unlike you, Travis has eyes for talent, and he knew that I was the one he wanted to lead the team after the merger. And he doesn't just respect me as a colleague, he actually likes me as a person. We go out for lunch together all the time. I cannot believe this is the first I'm hearing of this. Again, why are you talking like you're in a position to know about Travis's business matters? You're just in the same book club as the bride or something. <laughs> I've worked more than hard enough to earn a seat at this wedding. He even wants me to sit in the front row behind where his parents are sitting during the ceremony. Wow, okay, that's... something. I had no idea that you and Travis knew each other, much less that you were actually this friendly. I can't take all the credit, though. Mia is the one who gave me the push I needed to really get my career in gear. Ever since we got married, my numbers have been going up and up and up. I guess it's true what they say, that behind every great man is a great woman. I'm so glad I decided to kick you to the curb and marry Mia instead. If I had actually gone through with marrying you, who knows what kind of hellscape I'd be living in right now. Well, I'm very happy to hear your personal and professional life are going so well, Ken. I have to admit I figured that you and Mia would break up within a few months after you dumped me. No honor amongst thieves, as the saying goes. If you're willing to cheat once, chances are you'll be willing to do it again. So really, hearing that you're still apparently happily married is a pretty big shock to me. 
Uh-oh, is that jealousy I detect? <laughs> That's right, Clara. Mia and I are still just as madly in love as we've ever been. You might not want to look over at where we're sitting during the ceremony. We're pretty big into PDAs, if you know what I mean. I'm sure that's not something you want to see. Oh no, please tell me you're joking. Mia was invited today too? Yep, and it's not just because we were allowed to bring a plus one along either. Travis specifically told us that he wanted us both to come to the wedding. He likes Mia just as much as he likes me. This is way too much for me to take in, and on today of all days. Now you're telling me that Travis is friendly with both of you? Seriously, Clara, why do you even care? It's not like you're the one marrying Travis. But yeah, if you must know, there was a one-year anniversary party for our company's merger a few weeks back. All the employees and their families were invited, they had it catered, there was live music playing, it was a pretty big party. When I introduced Mia to Travis, he took a liking to her right away. He even said that he wanted to introduce Mia to his wife. He thought the two of them would get along great. What? Travis thinks his wife would want to be friends with a home-wrecking harpy like her? Apparently, his wife is something of a homebody. She has just a few close friends, and other than them, she doesn't talk to all that many people. Plus, ever since she quit her last job, he says she doesn't really go out much at all. I guess she had a really hard time with one of her old co-workers. That would be the understatement of the century. He thinks that being friends with a peppy, chipper girl like Mia would be just the thing to help her break out of her shell a bit. Yeah, that sounds like something Travis would say. Oh, you mean you've met him? Did he come to your book club or whatever, too? Well, we're acquainted at any rate. Unfortunately for him, can you imagine how awesome it would be if Mia actually became good friends with his wife? I'm already on my way up as it is. I'll get a seat on the board of directors by the time I'm 40. Mia really is the perfect wife. Not only is she super supportive of me, she's even willing to befriend a loser loner to help me advance my career. Are you sure you want to be insulting Travis's bride on the day of their wedding? Hey, I'm not the one who has to be your friend. Mia is. You seem rather confident that Travis's wife is going to like Mia. Have you taken a moment to think about what the consequences would be if she ended up hating Mia? You could kiss your seat on the board of directors goodbye if that were the case. Are you kidding me? Who in the entire world could possibly hate a woman as sweet and charming as Mia? Except you! <laughs> nah, I'm positive it's gonna go great. Mia's gonna become such good friends with her that she's gonna stop coming to your book club. Oh, I get it. That's why you've been acting so weird. You're afraid that Mia's gonna steal your friend from you. She already stole your fiancé, and now she's gonna steal your friend, too. Well, I'll leave you alone now. Enjoy the wedding today, Clara. This is the closest you're ever gonna get to having a wedding of your own. Clara, it's been way too long, hasn't it? I couldn't believe it when Ken told me you were here. I hadn't seen any ugly, miserable old women yet today, so I had no idea you were even in the building. Don't feel bad. For what it's worth, I had no idea that you were here either. Or even coming, for that matter. Wow, though this is the last place I ever thought I'd see you again. We have a lot to catch up on. I want to hear all the details of the day after I quit. When you had to go back and tell everyone your marriage was called off, were you crying? Sorry, Mia, but I really don't feel like talking about that with you right now. This is a wedding, remember? I have way more important things to be thinking about right now than my history with you and Ken. So please, let's be civil and put as much distance between us as possible. I'd almost prefer that we just pretend we never met each other, as difficult as that may be. I agree completely. Today is going to be my best and maybe only chance to become friends with Travis's wife. So I need to be laser focused and you're nothing but a distraction. I think it's best that you leave. Excuse me? 
Hey, you said it yourself. We should put as much distance between each other as possible, right? Well, the best way to do that is for you to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Take a taxi to the airport and get the first ticket available to whatever country is the farthest away from where we are. If I start thinking about how easy it was to steal your boyfriend from you during the ceremony, I might start cracking up in the pews. Just who do you think you are, anyway? You are nothing but a glorified plus one thanks to Ken being friends with Travis for God knows what reason. Where do you get off telling me to leave? What makes you think you have the right to be here in the first place? I have my reasons. You first, though. You tell me why I don't have the right to be here. Ken says that the only reason you're here is because you happen to be in the same book club as Travis's wife. Well, whatever loose connection you once had with her will soon be a thing of the past. Starting today, I am going to be the best friend she could ever ask for. You couldn't even keep your boyfriend away from me, Clara. You don't think your connection to her is stronger than the one you had with Ken, do you? Not to mention, this isn't the type of place where people like you belong anyway. You're going to have to help me on that one. What do you mean, people like me? This is the wedding for a powerful businessman and his trophy wife. The only people who should be attending are other wealthy, powerful, influential, and beautiful people. And what are you? You're just an ugly old woman who missed her only shot at love. I wouldn't say that. Huh? Wouldn't say what? That I missed my only shot at love? Clearly, I had a second shot. Considering this is my wedding. What? So yeah, I'm struggling to understand why you would tell a bride to leave her own wedding. Did you think Travis was just going to go to the altar and say his vows by himself? Okay, for real now, Clara, have you been drinking today? Do you really expect me to believe that you, one of the ugliest, least marriageable women I know, is marrying Travis, one of the most eligible bachelors in the country? Either you're drunk or you're just telling one of the most ridiculous lies I have ever heard. I've never been much of a drinker, and I'm not lying. I'm the one who's getting married to Travis today. He and I went to the same school all the way from elementary school to high school, and we used to hang out in the same circle of friends. We ran into each other a while back, and he invited me to dinner so we could catch up. He then invited me out again a few weeks later, and before I knew it, he was down on one knee. Yeah, right, as if I'd believe that. It's your choice to believe me or not, it really doesn't matter. You'll find out the truth in just a few minutes regardless. So you can just go and sit in the seats you and Ken were assigned and wait for the ceremony to start. Clara, what is going on? You were telling the truth about marrying Travis? That's, that's insane, I still don't believe it. Really? You mean me walking down the aisle in a white dress and saying my vows with Travis wasn't enough to convince you I'm telling the truth? Like I said, it doesn't matter if you believe me or not. I know that Travis loves me. Anyway, thanks for coming to our wedding today. What did you think of the food at the reception? I was so shocked from the ceremony that I couldn't eat a single bite. I mean, it was you, but it couldn't be you. But it was. I can't even think straight right now. Like you and Travis were sitting next to each other at the head table and you were constantly smiling at each other and all. I felt like I was having an aneurysm the whole time. Yeah, you definitely had a glazed look in your eyes when Travis and I came over to your table together. I'll bet you don't even remember the conversation we had, so let me remind you. I don't need or want your friendship. I am more than happy with the friends I have. I felt bad disappointing Travis because he apparently thought we would get along really well. But after all that's happened between us, I don't think that there is any way we could possibly be friends. So make sure you treat me accordingly should we ever happen to run into each other again. You are not my friend. You are not my co-worker. You are nothing to me. All you are is the wife of one of my husband's employees. What is up with you? You think you're some hot item just because you got married to a rich and powerful businessman? You had no right to do what you did. Huh? What do you mean? Travis didn't have any idea about what happened between us last year, and he didn't need to know either. But you went ahead and spilled the beans to him. Oh, so you were conscious back then. Could have fooled me. I don't see what's so wrong about telling him the truth. I'd say he definitely deserved to know that you slept with Ken while we were engaged and broke up our relationship. 
He was trying to invite you over for tea. I can't just tell him no without giving an explanation as to why. Sure you can! You might be fine with underhanded dishonesty towards people close to you, but I am not. After you stole Ken from me, I was crushed. I suppose that goes without saying, though. Two people who I trusted betrayed me in the worst way possible. It was really traumatic for me. For a long time, I had a hard time trusting anyone. Even just talking to people became stressful. And Travis is the one who picked me up when I was at my lowest and gave me the courage I needed to get back on my feet. So yes, he has every right to know that the people who he trusts are actually nothing but a couple of dirty, rotten liars and cheaters. But you knew that Ken works for Travis now, didn't you? Aren't you concerned about what's going to happen to Ken's career now? What if he gets transferred or demoted because of what you did? You could have just said no thank you to having us over for tea, or maybe another time, or something. But you told him everything! I could have, yes, but I didn't want to. I wanted to tell him everything. But why would you do that? Seriously, why wouldn't I? Really, what possible reason could I have to lie to my husband in order to protect the two of you? If you didn't want people to know what you did, maybe you shouldn't have done it in the first place. You slept with a man who was engaged to your coworker. You knew what the risks were when you did that. But I didn't think anyone would find out, especially not like this. Yeah, and I never thought that my fiance would cheat on me. Looks like we were both wrong. Anyway, have a nice life, Mia. I'm done with you. I can't believe you got married to Travis. This must be a dream, or a nightmare. Tell me it's not real. Sorry, not sorry, Ken. It's real. You must have been confused when you saw me wearing normal clothes going into the chapel earlier. Truth is, I kind of overslept today. I had to rush down there without getting changed or even putting on makeup. And then at the reception, you actually told him about me and Mia? Why would you do that? I'll never forget the look on Travis's face when he found out about us. He was just staring at me. It was terrifying. Yeah, I can explain that. <laughs> he knew that my previous boyfriend cheated on me and that it caused me a lot of emotional damage. After all, he's the one who helped me work through all that trauma. He always told me that if he ever met the guy who had hurt me so badly, he'd punch him right in the face. So it was a pretty massive shock for him to find out that the guy he needs to punch was none other than his own trusted subordinate. Oh no, I'm done for! I'm gonna get fired for sure! I thought I was on the fast track to success, but now I'm on the fast track to the unemployment office! Nah, I don't think you need to worry about him treating you unfairly because of this. Travis is a consummate professional. He never mixes personal matters with business matters. So as long as your performance stays at its current level, then I'd say your career trajectory won't change much at all. Hi, Clara. I just wanted to apologize for everything. It was really, really wrong of me to sleep with Ken while you two were together. But hey, everything worked out all right in the end, didn't it? You met a great guy, got married, and now you're living happily ever after. So can we let bygones be bygones and try to get along from now on, please? My oh my, this is quite a change in attitude from you, Mia. Just a few weeks ago, you were calling me an ugly, unmarriageable woman, but now you're on your knees begging for forgiveness? It's not gonna work, Mia. I have no interest in being friends with you, and I never will. Give it up. Oh, come on now, don't let yourself be trapped in the past like this. I heard that you and the other executives' wives are all really friendly with each other. I was wondering if maybe you could introduce me to them too. Really, Mia? Really? Travis told us that you haven't been going out much ever since you broke up with Ken, but now I find that you actually meet with other wives practically every other week. You weren't the only person Travis asked to be my friend. He also set me up with the wives of his colleagues. Unlike you, they're all really nice people who I actually enjoy being around. So we all meet at our house and have tea every once in a while. I want to have tea with you guys too. Uh, can I come? I miss working with you, Clara. I'd love a chance to catch up. You can knock off the act, Mia. You're just a social climber and not even a good one. I learned something very important from you and Ken. I need to be a lot more careful about who I spend my time with. So thanks for that, Mia. I really appreciate it. But no, you're not invited. Just once, okay? Just let me come to one of your parties. 
that I'm sure you'll see how much I've changed. It's like I said at the wedding, Nia, let's put as much distance between each other as possible. So why don't you and Ken head over to the airport and buy the first tickets available to the opposite side of the globe? If you'd like, I'll even pay for you to fly first class. <laughs> After I turned her down, Nia started going around to all the other executives' wives and begging them for attention. When they all turned her down, she started trying to make friends with the middle manager's wives. And guess what? None of them wanted anything to do with her either. As for Ken, I told him his career would be safe if he kept up his performance, but he couldn't do it. He's been making mistake after mistake ever since our wedding, including some that caused serious financial damage to the company. So a few weeks ago, the company finally decided that it had no choice but to terminate him. He tried suing for wrongful dismissal, claiming that he was only fired because of his history with me. But the company had more than enough hard evidence regarding his poor performance to have it dismissed. Thank you for watching till the end. If you felt good about this video, like the video. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments. Subscribe too. Your likes and subs lead to our motivation. We have so many videos on our channel as well, so 